Hi guys, welcome to today's unboxing. Bit of a random one, just out the blue, decided to go and buy myself an Xbox One S for the recording room. So if you've been watching the vlogs on the channel, you'll know that this is going to be living up in the recording room. Start of doing unboxing for any of you who are curious about the Xbox One S and maybe thinking about getting one. Since there's quite a few good deals out there just now, you can usually pick one up for quite a good price, bundled with a couple of games. So, hope you enjoy this unboxing. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Remember to drop a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. What's inside? It's a nice Forza cover there. Have a wee look at that. Probably the one game I've been desperate to play and probably one of the main reasons I bought an Xbox One S. I know you can get it for Windows PC but any excuse to buy a, a, another console or a gadget, if you're a gamer, you know what I'm talking about. Gadgets are great, consoles are even better. So what does it say on the back? Ultimate 4K Entertainment System. And it's got some dudes from Gears of War, Forza and the like. Um, you can see that there. The console, some other facts, 100 console exclusives. Growing library of Xbox 360 games as well. I think that must be a lot through the backwards compatibility program. Most advanced multiplayer network. I must admit I used to have an Xbox 360 years ago and Xbox Live was way better than the PlayStation Network for reliability and speed of download and all that kind of good stuff. I can't wait to play this game. There is your kind of generic Xbox One S white version of the console um, box. I'd imagine they all kind of look like this under the sleeve. You can see here this is a 500 gig model. You can also get um, one terabyte as well if you're going to be doing a lot of downloads. And on the back, funnily enough, it's the exact same as the sleeve. Let's just get it open, see what it's like inside. Xbox One green there. So this looks like it's power adapter and this, I imagine it might be a power brick or something like that. No, no it's not. This looks like it's going to be a pad along with HDMI cable there for plugging into your telly. I thought these pads looked really, really cool. Don't know if they'll be as comfy as the PlayStation pad, but they look cool. Oh, what's this? Something else in here. Oh, batteries. That is one thing Microsoft sorted it out. Why is there not rechargeable batteries built into this thing? The way the PlayStation pads are still using batteries and buying battery packs these days. Shocking Microsoft. Come on, sort it out. Enough moaning, here's the pad. Triggers. Triggers feel nice actually. It's actually, it feels really good. It feels a lot nicer than the, the Xbox 360 pad. Looks like a headphone jack and I'm not so sure what that is. Hmm. Maybe for some mini keyboard or something like that. I don't know. If you guys know what that's for. Let me know in the comments down below as well, that'd be really useful. In case I'm maybe missing out some great accessory that the Xbox has that I won't be using because I don't know how to work it right. So there you go, no, pretty cool pad, I like that, very nice. You've got your wee compartment there for the batteries, which is pretty poor. Come on Microsoft. It's 2017, we're still using batteries, get the rechargeable ones in there. This is actually a card that's in here. Oh, this is a wee quick guide. Tell us how to get it all plugged in. The Forza Horizon download code. So that's pretty cool, we'll be using that later on. Let's carefully do this. Don't want to drop it. There's the foam guards there. It's actually quite heavy for such a small box. There she is, Xbox One S, ladies and gentlemen. You then take on the side, you then take on the top, side again. The wrapper there. There's the back, you can see it's got HDMI output to TV, HDMI input from satellites to USB ports, that looks like there. You've got infrared, 
output, I think that is. Must be for a receiver or something. And then, don't know what that is. And then you've got your old, I think that's your old Ethernet networking cable. So that's pretty cool. So that is the unboxing of the Xbox One S. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, any questions, as I said earlier, leave them in the comments below. I'll happily answer them if I know the answer to the question. I've probably asked you guys more questions during this video, so can't wait to read your answers. Since this is new to me as well, comment below any games you think I should be getting for the Xbox One S that you want me to be playing on the channel. As I say, this will be up in the recording room, we'll get it hooked up into the Elgato and we'll get some good gameplays for the channel. So, hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.